You have stated that deciding to marry Allison was the most natural and nourishing decision you've ever made. You feel that with Allison, your whims are checked and your soul is full. You know that your life ahead with Allison will be an adventure of growth and happiness. It will have its challenges, but will be overwhelmingly filled with untold triumphs. You anticipate the day where Allison will fully accept herself to be the beautiful, intelligent, and radiant person you see and love every day. Allison makes you be a better you, and you know that one day she will truly see the amazing person she is. At this point, <laughs> you wrote, Allison's probably decided that your letter is way more awesome than the one she struggled to write to. <laughs> So instead of continuing to be modest, you'll declare victory. <laughs> Allison is now saying to herself that you are a butthead and it's not fair that you cannot always win. But all joking aside, Allison is everything you know and didn't know you wanted. You'll spare her the Rocky Balboa Gaps explanation because Allison has never taken the time to watch one of the most underrated screenplays ever written. <laughs> You will also spare Allison the Jerry Maguire sign language and overused corny message. But you will close by saying that you are made full by Allison's complete love and support. You concluded by writing, Je t'aime mon amour. Steve, are these statements a correct expression of your feelings and intentions as you present yourself to be Allison's husband? <laughs> Allison, you began by saying that you had put off writing the letter, <laughs> avoiding it like the plague, really, because you didn't really know how to articulate how much you love Steve and how much you will always love him. And just writing that brought tears to your eyes, but not the UFC kind. <laughs> your type A perfectionist tendencies made writing your letter quite difficult, and you're sure Steve will whip out an eloquent, heartfelt letter in about five minutes. <laughs> you wish you had his capacity to pull off things at the last minute. But in true Allison fashion, you want to go down the list of questions that I gave you and just answer each question, but you're fighting the urge. You can't believe your big day is here and that you have fallen more in love with Steve each day since you first met at Cafe Kaila three years ago. And yes, when you first met, you wondered if he was going to be the one. Because you like making lists, here are some of the reasons why you want to spend the rest of your life with Steve. <laughs> He can cook all of your favorite dishes, especially roast pork tofu, mapo tofu, and crispy gaji. <laughs> He's the only person you know who gets excited to go grocery shopping and wants to make a date out of it. He loves a good deal and knows how to find a Chinaman special in any situation. He loves eating, walking, traveling, and adventures. He's creative and the gears are always turning in his brain. He's passionate about his work and nurturing the relationships he's formed from it. He's willing to take risks, learn new things, and constantly grow in every aspect of life. He makes you laugh every day with his silly songs, stories, voices, and dance moves. He encourages you to be a better person, teacher, and partner each day. He takes care of you, he supports you, and he loves you unconditionally. As you embark on the next chapter together, you promise to love Steve unconditionally. Take care of him, support him, and snuggle him. You <laughs> promise to work on your relationship in good times and in challenging times. You're excited to travel the world, raise children, and grow old with him. You're looking forward to a lifetime of wandering and pondering dates to Costco, Daae, Marukai, Times, Whole Foods, and TJ Maxx. <laughs>